You done fucked it up! Fix this shit! Now! Hello gamers, this is Mike DeZorch, and this is not your typical video from me. This is uh, something that's just uh, spur of the moment, and I, I had to do this. I'm, I'm in this program um, only office. I've been playing around with this to see. You know, I've heard some good things about it, and I thought it was good, but this is not what this video is about. I watched... Uh, Obsidian Ant's video on Elite Dangerous and had a little talk with Tigra about it and he's extremely opinionated about about this subject um, for good reason and I think you're about to see why I wanted to do it like this have this whole presentation thing uh, so I can draw some boxes to give you an idea of exactly what the situation is going on with Elite right now as you know, Elite Dangerous is a game that is has a, a pedigree, one incredible pedigree. Started with the original Elite on the BBC Micro back in the 80s. It was the first game of its kind. A huge, open-world, galaxy-sized um, space game where you could basically fly anywhere, you could do trading, you could do bounty hunting. All, all sorts of things. It was the first of its kind ever. It was a groundbreaking game. It's famous. And then there have been a series of sequels ever since. Elite Dangerous is the latest version. This was launched as a Kickstarter by uh, David Braden, the uh, original creator of Elite back in 2012, and it was released. Uh, there has since been two expansions for the game. Horizons and Odyssey. Now, there has been a lot of problems with this game. Frontier Development, the developer of Really Dangerous, has mismanaged this game to almost criminal levels. And it, 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 it's horrible. This game has so much potential to it. They took NASA data turned it into a list, fed it into a game engine, and had it generate an entire galaxy of stars. And then they used procedural generation to add in planets and and everything. They 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 did no man's sky the hell out of it. But they don't but you know, it, it's a huge game. But it's mostly empty. There's hardly any content in it except for stuff in the bubble, uh, stuff in Colonia, and, and a few places that are scattered here and there all throughout the galaxy. Yeah, people people say, oh, oh, Elite Dangerous has an entire galaxy you can explore, and Star Citizen has only one star system. Yeah, but most of Elite Dangerous is empty. With planets you can't land on, unless you have horizons only certain kinds of planets you can land on and and there's odyssey and that's a completely different kind of clusterfuck but let me get into exactly what is going on with this game now the, the one of the things you have to understand also is frontier developments has been infiltrated by a certain subset of people they're right near a university, so it gives you an idea of what kind of people they are. These are the kinds of people that Elon Musk has been firing from Twitter. So it gives you an idea of who's in this company. And they have no creativity. All their artwork and assets and everything, they outsource every bit of it. The, the sound, sound effects, and the artwork, all of it's outsourced. Every bit of it. And... This is, it can barely be qualified as a game. Dark Citizen offers more than this game does. And it's about to get a lot worse. But anyway, let me get to this. And I, I've, I really liked this game because the VR experience is incredible. But let me get into exactly what's going on. Let me, let me get to this now. So, there are what they're doing. Now you have a 
the 3.8 console version. Okay, they have a they have a console version, 3.8 console version. Okay, uh, this is just Horizons. They are not getting the Odyssey update for consoles. This is on PlayStation and Xbox. And these are last gen PlayStation and Xbox. But you can play it on the current consoles. But they're not getting a next gen update to this. So they're stuck with 3.8. Now, add another box here. Now, if you, they have a thing where you buy classic or you buy the live versions of the game. So if you buy classic, then if you buy classic on console, you get Elite Dangerous Horizons. You get the game with the Horizons expansion. Okay, that's classic. Now, uh, let's change the color. Let's change for PC. Let's uh, turn this a... Let's change the color on this. That doesn't change that color. Let's keep this white for the text. And 3.8. Classic Horizons. So you buy 3.8. You buy the classic. You get 3.8 Classic Horizons. And you get... Let's change the color here to match green. And you get 3.8 C Classic odyssey okay so you get these you buy classic you will get these two versions two different versions if you're on a console you get this now they have a different version they have a 4.x 4.x this is the live version horizons lot 4.x pc live horizons Okay, and make this text easier to see. Let me make it bold for you. Right. And now another box. And let's make that yellow, just like the other one. Then X. PC Live Odyssey Okay So we got five boxes here Let me explain this So you will buy two there would be two different versions of the game that you will be able to purchase. You will be able to buy Classic or Live. So you'll be able to buy Classic or Live. And when you buy Classic or Live, if you're on console, you just get 
version 3.8 console version classic horizons you just get that if you buy it on pc you get 3.8 classic horizons and odyssey now if you buy live the live version you get 4.x pc version live horizons and odyssey okay you get those expansions you get that now here's the thing Uh, here, here is here's the thing. Let me draw these lines. And you will you will understand what these are once I'm done. Let me make these lines thicker. Oh, you, you, you're going to get this. You're, you're definitely going to get this. You're going to understand what this is when I'm done. And you're going to understand why the Elite Dangerous community is up in arms over this shit. Why they are just beside themselves. And let me add one more. Make that a little thicker, pronounced line. And let me move this box over here. Okay. So, you have classic. You buy it on console. You get 3.8 Horizons on console if you buy it on pc you get horizons and odyssey 3.8 if you buy the live version you get 4.x for pc horizons and odyssey there is no odyssey version for console where you see a line there is no cross play between any of them Console players are off in their own little box. They play 3.8. 3.8's never going to get any updates. Not going to get any new content. They might maybe get some bug fixes. Maybe not. Probably not. 3.8. Where this line is. Horizons and Odyssey players cannot play with each other. Horizons players 3.8 classic. Just off in their own box. Odyssey classic players 3.8 off in their own box 4.x pc version horizons off in their own box on the live side the the, the version that's going to get the updates the version that's going to get the uh, engine updates and all the, and any new content that uh, frontier developments makes they can't play with each other either in fact that's that's how it was when odyssey was first launched is the two couldn't play together now you could play the base game of elite dangerous or the odyssey expansion that was always how that worked uh, originally but you could still interact with people playing horizons the only difference is, is you couldn't land on certain planets there was no planetary landings in the base game horizons added planetary landings and odyssey all added um, a really poorly implemented space legs where you could get out of your ship. When you really didn't get out of your ship, uh, you just teleported out. You didn't get out, you know, Star Citizen style. You got out just teleporting out of your ship. And the scaling is all wrong for everything. And the graphics are messed up. And they said they're not going to fix the visuals they're not going to fix the broken graphics of odyssey so this is the situation the console players are off in their own box they can't interact with anyone else so they're off playing by themselves if you're on pc and you're playing classic you're either playing horizons or you're playing odyssey these two cannot talk to each other at all 
They can't commu they can't communicate with each other. They can't play with each other. You're either playing the hot the horizons, the game with the horizons, or you're playing the game with the Odyssey. And you're playing the game with Odyssey. You're playing it with the uh, the 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 hokey uh, FPS uh, on the ground on the f uh, on foot uh, gameplay and broken visuals. 4.x. This is the version that they're going to be updating. You're either playing Horizons with uh, the new and new new client, uh, new graphics which are broken, and then Odyssey, new graphics broken, uh, the hokey um, on foot gameplay and and everything. And you can't they can't play with each other. They can't even see each other. You can't see Odyssey players at all if you're playing Horizons 4.x. And here is what Frontier wants to do. They want to have their war. They want to have their Thargoid war. And there's already been stuff in the game where people are saying that they're seeing Thargoid uh, anomalies near Earth, near the Sol system. And what, they're, what everybody's thinking they're going to do is they're going to have Basically, they're a full-scale invasion of the bubble by the Thargoids, and they're going to destroy, uh, to destroy the bubble and cause humanity to be scattered throughout the galaxy. So you're going to have a whole bunch of little bubbles everywhere. The one thing that Frontier hates above everything else in this game, they absolutely hate power play, and power play could have been something really great. They could have made it a story narrative uh, thing, but they didn't. And what I think they're wanting to do, and Tiger, Tiger is, uh, said this, what they're probably wanting to do is get rid of the rankings. You know, the get, the, get rid of the elite rankings and, and everything. That's all a part of this. All part of the power play system. They just, they... Frontier wants to get rid of it. And how do you get rid of it? You get rid of the major powers. You get rid of the Alliance. You get rid of the Empire. You get rid of the, the, the Terran systems. You get rid of them. You break them up. You have the Thargoids invade and destroy space stations. Destroy colonies. And force humanity to scatter to the four winds of the galaxy. And... That's what he suspects that they're going to do. What they've been wanting to do for some time. Because they've been building up to a massive invasion by the Thargoids. Thar we get we pissed them off enough. But they're coming in and they're just going to kick over everything. And that's what they've been building up to. Because they've had space, space stations being attacked and knocked offline and, and everything. It's, this is going to be worse where the bubble... It's basically depopulated. Now, what elite, what frontier developments could do, but they're not going to. But they could do, but they're they'll never do this. Is take the 4.x versions of the game and really improve upon it. You know, make power play the story driven campaign that it was really supposed to be really meant to be um fix the graphics engine improve the lighting the lighting is is broken improve the planetary visuals which they said they're never going to fix they're not going to fix because they just want to focus on narrative and they're, they're not going to do any of it they're not going to do any of that they want their they want their war. They could have come in and merged Horizons and Odyssey, get rid of this whole thing where Odyssey and and Horizons are two separate things that you can't inter that either can't interact with, and then make sure that it's built, make sure that console players on the current consoles can play it. Also. But they're never going to do that. They're not going to. I mean, there's so many things that they could do. But they have never proven. Never proven. 
that they are willing to do any of this. That they're willing to, you know, make this game what it really should be. Because if you look back at David Braden's original pitch for Elite Dangerous, it sounds a lot like, you know, Chris Roberts's pitch for Star Citizen. The things that he was promising for this game in the original Kickstarter for Elite Dangerous were a lot like Star Citizen. Now here's the difference. They hardly ever, they hardly ever um, delivered on anything that was promised. Hardly ever. There, there, very few things they actually delivered on what they promised. Really dangerous? I mean, Star Citizen? They're delivering on what they're on the, what they promised. Now we've got a, an expansion coming up that has the uh, per, that has the um, you know the persistent the glow of persistence that's coming to the game. We've got the server meshing that's coming to the game next year, so that we'll get rid of this having different servers with server lim player limits on each server to where we can be all be in one world and the, uh, the different servers are connected to each other seamlessly and and you you don't have this thing of where the player base is separated from one another it's all in one world on with multiple with multiple interconnected shards they're delivering on what they promised they're actually doing it they're act they're actually actually doing it and everything that was promised by David Braden of, of Elite Dangerous, they're not. They're not delivering. This game has been so mismanaged by Frontier Developments. It's almost criminal what they've done to this thing. And the only creativity is the visuals of the Horizon visuals and the sound effects which they don't even produce themselves. They outsource all of that. And then what's their gameplay? Um, grindy gameplay with no real creativity. Where there's missions where you fly around from space station to space station, picking up virtual passengers you don't see, cargo you never see. You know, and you don't get out of your ship. If you're playing Horizons, you never get out of your ship. If you play Odyssey, you teleport out of your ship. The scaling of your ship is all wrong. The scaling of everything around you is not quite right. And the visuals aren't quite right. And the lighting is awful. And the planetary surface tech that they they use makes everything look like, um, you know, look like cheap play sets. It's awful. It's awful. And they're not going to fix it. They've already stated that they're not going to fix it. You're going to say, oh, you can't say they're not going to fix it. No, no, no. They've actually said that they're not going to fix it. They're not going to fix the broken visuals in Odyssey. In either version. 3.8 or 4.x. Now, the reason why they did all this, the reason why they've got all these people separated in different boxes that can't interact with one another, is because you've got, you've got the console players over here, and they are playing on systems that just can't handle the graphics of Odyssey because it is an unoptimized mess and it looks terrible too. And then you've got players who absolutely just hate it when Frontier tries to change things. They just they out scream everyone else. When you someone wants something changed, if someone wants something improved, they will they will just scream over everyone else. Just out scream them, not the change. They don't want any improvement they don't want any um you know 
anything that makes things a little bit easier for the players any kind of um quality of life stuff they don't want any of that if you ask for it they will call you a care bear they will ridicule you they will just gang up on you and just call you all sorts of names they'll call you a care bear and everything they'll just 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 dogpile you in the forums they just dogpile you over it so what they did is they separated out this 4.x which is the version that's going to get updates for the people who want change people who want you know in different improvements and stuff they separated this out and for all the people who absolutely hate change who just scream and yell over everyone else who don't want anything to change they just want to stand there stay the game to stay as it is they want to fly around in their their uber engineered ships and just kill other players with impunity they have their version and if they don't like odyssey they can stay in horizons without with the with the original uh, visuals play that version of the game till the end of till the end of their days or until frontier decides to shut the servers down same thing with the odyssey 3.8 pc version they can play this version till their hearts content till they finally get tired of it or frontier decides to shut the servers down same thing goes with the console version they're never getting any more updates they're not going to get odyssey this version's never going to change uh, eventually uh, it may not even be playable anymore on future versions of playstation and xbox so players with this version will have to keep you know playing on the ps4 and xbox one and they're never going to get a version for the latest xbox the latest playstation they're never going to get their next gen update and then this version is going to get all the changes that frontier development wants to make and they did all this knowing that any changes that they're going to make are going to be unpopular with this crowd this crowd's going to hate it so they gave this crowd what they want so they can go ahead with any changes that they want because they know it's going to be unpopular and probably the people playing this version are probably not going to like what they're going to do either. I've never seen a situation like this. Where a game developer has such a... A disdain for their player community. As Frontier has for Elite Dangerous players. You know, I, I've, I've seen situations where companies have a disdain for their players where other companies have disdain for their fans. I mean, you see it with Disney. But I've never seen it like this. I mean, this is the situation with Elite Dangerous. This is the situation going forward. And this is the version that's going to be getting all the updates and everything. And so far, what we have seen is it's just going to be narrative. Uh, maybe some changes in the graph maybe some graphics changes I know that I know they're getting a new client but they've already stated they're not going to improve visuals they're not going to go back and fix what they broke of the planetary planetary tech I mean if they do it would surprise me but their track record uh, going forward from here has been it's been proven that they won't they haven't done anything to prove otherwise that they that they will do anything other than just what they're currently doing that they will not change anything they will not improve anything they haven't done anything to prove to me that they're gonna fix any of this 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 is awful this is this is bad this is taking their community and splintering it 
They splinter off the console players. You know, No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky has a team of what? Um, like a hundred developers. They have a team of a hundred developers, and they were able to make a version for the Switch and a version for the consoles and a version for PC and they're making a version for the Mac and they all play together I, I don't think the Switch version does but I know that the other versions will all play with one another and they had to take, keep the um, settlements out of the Switch version because it just couldn't handle it Graphically, it just couldn't handle the settlements. But they were able to make all these different versions of the game make it work. They're even doing a Mac version of No Man's Sky. And they only have a hundred people. Whereas... I know, Elite Dangerous Frontier Developments, they've got more people working on Elite Dangerous than, than Hello Games ever did. And this is all, this is all they've been able to come up with. This is all they've been able to do. This is it. They've got nothing big, profound, except narrative on their roadmap. Their, their grand war with the Thargoids. And people call Star Citizen a scam. People dare to call Star Citizen a scam. Anyway, I am Mike DeZorch. Thanks for watching. It's sad to see this game die. But you know, what can you do? This is this is This is how a game dies. This is how a game dies. Um, I'm streaming Half-Life Alex Levitation tomorrow after the mod comes out. Uh, it's going to be a really, really big one. This is one that was announced in a trailer um, at the PC Game Show at Not E3 earlier in the year. I mean, they liked Valve loved the expansion so much that they actually made a trailer and uh, presented it at not E3. I call it not E3 because it wasn't E3, but they still had the E3-like events. So, check that out. But uh, I just had to make this video real quick after having a conversation with, um, actually just listening to him yant, rant, and yell, which is totally understandable. But we both like this game. We want to see it succeed because the VR experience is incredible. But this is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. I've been Mike DeZorch. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.